Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to show you guys how to turn off a Google Form. In other words, this would basically make your Google Form unanswerable, meaning that respondents can no longer answer your form once you've turned on this setting. So, one way to do this, the first method we'll show you, is through the Responses tab. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the upper part of this page, where you'll see the option of Questions, Responses, and Settings. So from here, you're simply going to want to click Responses, and as you can see, you already have two um, in the form. From this point, on the first section, you're going to see a option on the right that says Accepting Responses. If you were to simply flick this switch, you would basically stop the form from accepting any responses up to this point. So anytime after you flick the switch, responses will no longer be taken in by the form. So as you can see, if we were to simply s open this form and try to answer it, you can see that the form is already closed. And in order to turn on the form again, you'd have to contact the editor themselves. Now, the second method that you wanted to go over is by through using this additional add-on called Fast Form on and off. So as you may have noticed from the first method we showed you on how to turn off your Google form, you kind of have to do it manually and it requires you to actually go back to the form yourself and to flick the switch. But what if you don't want to come back and you want to turn off automatically after, let's say, a certain time or date? Now, that's where the fast form on and off comes in. So first things first, you're obviously going to want to get this add-on added into your Google form. So first. You will go to the upper right corner where you will see the buttons. Look for the three dot button beside your profile. And from here, you're going to see a drop down menu. And at the bottom, there is a selection called add ons. Once you've selected that button add ons, it'll basically take you to this page called the Google Workspace Marketplace, where you can find any other add on you might want to include in your Google form. In our case, however, we're just looking for the fast form on and off add-on. As you can see, it's the first one to appear. Simply click on the um, add-on that you want to add. Once you selected it, there is a button on the right, usually blue, which says install. So from here, you just have to click continue. And as you can see, it'll ask for an account where it can be installed. In our case, we want it in our email account that's connected to the Google form. And once you've read all the stipulations, you can quickly select allow, wait another few moments and voila, it has been installed. So once you're done with the Google Workspace Marketplace, simply exit it and it'll take you back to your Google form. Now, now it's a matter of trying to access your add-ons. So going back to the buttons on the upper right, you can see that there's a puzzle piece button and if you hover your mouse over it, it reads out add-ons. Simply click, select that button and as you can see a drop down menu will come out showcasing what add-ons you currently have that are connected to your account. From here, you just have to select the corresponding add-ons. We're selecting fast form on and off. And for the fast form on and off, you just want to hit menu. Now, once you have the menu up, you're going to see a little page on the bottom right. You're also going to have this little selection so you can choose your time zone. So in our case, let's just say we're going with GMT time zone once you're happy with that hit save okay so now time zone is set and now the bottom right fast form on and off menu is updated to your new time zone so from here you can choose an event and an event will basically dictate what will happen to your google form after the certain point in time so since we're trying to turn off the google form we want it to set off that is our chosen event Next, you're gonna to wanna to select a date. So let's just pick a random date on when this set off process will happen. Let's pick for next week, and then you can just pick a time. Once you're happy with the time and date and you're happy with all these details, you just have to hit save. Once it's been saved and everything's been loaded, you can see that one event is found. And as it reads here, the Google form will set off or turn off on this date and at this time. 
Hopefully this helps you better manage your Google Forms. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help with online forms, check out the rest of our channel, either using the link on the upper right corner of this page or below this video. See you next time.